Hi, we are going to make a desktop. Uh, we are going to use the blend gradient tool to create this desktop. Remember that this particular desktop is a one-of-a-kind desktop. You'll never ever create the same thing again. You might get similar, but not exactly the same. The first thing that we need to do is to create a new file. So we're going to go to File, New. We're going to go to Template. And my screen um, is a little bit smaller than the 16 by uh, 12 or the 1600 by 1200, but that's the size I'm going to pick. So I'm going to pick that and then I'm going to hit OK. So now you can see that my uh, image is the right size, but I can't see the whole thing. So I'm going to come here and you're not seeing what I'm doing, I'm making it smaller. So now here it is. So that I can see it. I'm going to now pick the gradient tool and that's this tool right here. It's technically the blend tool in GIM. So I click on that to activate that. Then you can see down here is the properties of that tool, the normal mode, the opacity, how thick the gradient is, how I can see through it or not. Um, the gradient color uh, the offset, the shape, etc. What I'm going to do is click on the actual gradient and I'm just going to pick the first one. Now all I need to do here is just click and drag and I go from the top left hand corner to the bottom right hand corner. That gives me a nice thing. Now if I click and drag again it changes up a little bit. I can keep going like this. Now that's cool but it's not super cool. So what I want to do is use the same gradient but change the mode of that particular gradient. I'm going to go from normal all the way down here to difference. So now when I click and drag, it's going to take the two colors and give me the difference of those two colors. What does that mean? Well, in computers, a color is a number. So when you have two numbers or two different colors, you can subtract those numbers and get a new number, which gives you another color. Okay. So if I drag, you can see that the blue area and the blue areas, they're subtracting pretty much the same number from each other. So that gets zeros, which is black. Okay, and then you see now when I do it again, it subtracts and gives me some other numbers. And I keep going. So now I'm getting a one of a kind desktop. I now can come over here and change the shape to something else. I can do square. Now notice where I click and drag. That is the radius of the square from the center to the farthest corner. If I use a circle instead radial, you can see this a little bit better. We'll do it here to here. That's the radius of the circle, see? Okay, now if I go bigger, I get the radius of that circle. Now I can do uh, spiral, this is clockwise, the bigger, the bigger spiral, the smaller, the smaller spiral, okay? And now we're going to save it. So I'm just going to move it down a little bit so that you can see. File, save as, and it pops up a window if I can bring it over. My computer doesn't stall. So this one is desktop one. And I want to save it as an XCF. The XCF file is the default GIMP file. So I can go back into it and play with it inside of GIMP if I had layers and stuff like that. So I would hit save here and save that. Now I go file, save as. Now in order to use it on my actual computer as a desktop, I have to save it as a JPG. So I do that. Now it asks me what kind of quality and I can leave it as the 85% or I can bump it up to 100% and hit save. And there it is. And that's it. Ask me for any questions.